All right, guys, we got ourselves a new AC compressor. And I know we had a lot of AC techs in our comments on the last video, but it ain't gonna work if we don't got a good clutch. And this one is good. So we got the other one swapped out. This one is good to go. We'll put it back on and then we'll go from there. We should still probably take it to a real mechanic though. Mike's fixing to head back to Virginia. He had a couple project cars down here. We're letting them use the two car trailer to get these guys home. This thing's freaking sweet. This is a lot like Hayden's RX-7. This is a first gen, right? Yep. First gen with a 25 cert cage in it. She's like a little rusty. Her, gotta get her, gotta, gotta get her rotary. painted up. It's gonna be better than Hayden's because yeah, it's, it's gonna be staying rotary. Yeah. Calling them out already. It ain't gonna be a, uh, a paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna watch this and be like, screw you, dude. <laughs> but no, this thing is sick. So yeah, they're gonna do a rotary in this, try to go real fast. And they got this freaking hoopty over here. Yeah, that big project right there, RX3, but we'll just leave that on. Yeah, we'll just, on we'll not talk about that one for now. <laughs> but yeah, this thing's sick. So safe travels, man. All right, man. Try to get my trailer back in one piece. <laughs> Thanks for the help with uh, Susie no as well. scratches. Look, that was already there. Yeah, we'll uh, document any scratches <laughs> before you take off. The boys rental. We'll see you soon. Uh, you want to keep I'll those? I'll up to you. I'm just asking. Those, um, are, they don't matter those are actually Cletus's, so yeah, yeah we should yeah, probably okay. bring those Hang back. Those. those are crown. A lot of people want me to get the wheel tires on because I do it since it right. gives me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mind, but that's right. I just, yeah, everything yeah, else can go, um, and then there's probably except some other wheels. wheels. Right? Yeah, except for this one. Okay. And then we got some other stuff on Okay. It will take about a minute. Here. Finally clearing out the old scrap pile here. <laughs> We got one, two J series, actually three. This one we're gonna keep because there's still good internals in it. And the clutch, this is the one that just came out of the 240. That's the MR2's old block that exploded. So unfortunately, we're just tossing that guy. JBR engines, this is the one that had our custom uh, logo etched into it. I was thinking about giving that away to one of you guys, but it's just an oily hunk of metal. We're just gonna toss it. You gonna throw this out? Yep, that's all trash. And yep. Okay. Yeah, we're just keeping this engine yeah. right here. Hey, why? There's our chain that we're looking for. Yeah. It was on the J series this whole time. <laughs> We've been looking for this chain for like a month. Really? It was just right out here. The old trailing arms off the hatch after we did the all wheel drive conversion and the gas tank out of the hatch. The center console section out of the MR2. We've just had this stuff kind of piled up over here. But these guys are finally taking it all away. Let the scrap metal guys check out the round. see over here. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> How much horsepower does this thing got? This one makes about a thousand. Look at that turbo. Oh my Big God. ass turbo. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, this old sleeper here. Pull up That's the man. <laughs> Pull up I mean, this thing might not run a damn Hellcat. It would probably do it. It, it does. Dollars. It traps over 150 in the quarter. Yeah. How much? Over 150. We've already, oh, we have a video yeah, of it. Yeah, we have it pulling on a thousand horsepower Hellcat. This one. Good. Out in uh, Nebraska. Yeah. This one's all wheel drive. Man, I would never think you wouldn't. Not too bad for being here for almost two years. Getting rid of our little clutter pile that doesn't fit into the regular trash can. Right. We could throw it in there. There but she goes. Know, we'd be the meme. Ah, oh, you're good, man. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll be the guys where the engine block falls out of the bottom of the can when they go to lift it <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. No, 100%. We have yeah. definitely put some questionable things in the trash can, <laughs> I mean, but they took it. I ain't gonna lie, I've put a whole four cylinder in there before. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Sad to see the OG seven second block go, but yeah. it's just a pile of scrap metal at this point. I was gonna turn it into a table, but that's too much she's work. She's a little too far gone. Yeah, she's gone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are getting some more work done on the sidekick here. We have her up in the air, and right now we're working on a rear transmission mount. As you guys saw, Mike was over here, and we got the front engine mount done. That guy is ready to go. But we just put an angle finder on the back of the transmission here just to make sure the angle going to the rear differential here will be good for the drive shaft and why it's knocking that out right now. I'm currently working on getting the factory fuel tank out of this thing. I have it just about ready to fall out here. I just have to disconnect the fill hose and a couple other lines, and this guy will drop right out because we are going to be replacing this with a fuel cell in the same location. We are going to be running an aftermarket pump, so we're gonna need a fuel cell with a sump on the bottom of it, and this old tank is just not gonna cut it for us, so. All right, so we got the factory fuel tank out of this thing along with the fuel lines. The sidekick is very disgusting under here. My hands were black. Just wash my hands off, but we got the uh, fuel cell out of the jet boat here. This is a 20 gallon one that we got off of Amazon. And this one is 
29 and a half inches wide by 12 by 12. And the space right in between the two like frame rails there is 30 inches. So this thing fits perfectly in between the frame rails and the side gig, but it does hang a little low. So we can probably get a couple more inches out of this thing uh, because it still has the cap on top that it's sitting on right now. But there is another one on Amazon identical to this that is only uh, nine inches tall and it's a 15 gallon. So this is the 20 gallon one that is 12 inches tall. We're gonna go ahead and order the same exact one, but it's only nine inches tall and that will give us plenty of clearance there. And it should look nice and tucked up in the back of the sidekick. And then we're gonna have to weld the sump off the back of it to run the uh, inline fuel pump. But got that figured out. And then Wyatt has been working on this transmission mount. Yep. Got that guy all ready to come off and be welded out. So just a nice and simple tube going across and then two tubes up to that piece right there, bolted to the trans. Yeah, super simple setup. Just out. It'll work good. It ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, we're keeping this build kind of simple, guys. The sidekick isn't gonna be nothing too crazy. We say that now, but. Yeah. I mean, kiss, keep it simple, stupid, you know? It's, it'll do the job and it doesn't need to be sophisticated. We don't gotta over-engineer anything yeah. on this. Yeah, it's so, very, nice and solid. She is gonna be mounted in there after we get all this welded up and keep going from there. Yep, it's coming all together pretty quickly, actually. It's yeah. Like pretty simple. Setup. Once we finally got started on this thing, it's yeah. just coming right along. Literally two days, the motor's mounted, like pretty simple. Yep, once we have all the parts, it's gonna come together quick. Heck yeah. Check it out, why it just got that rear transmission mount knocked out. So now our engine and transmission are fully bolted into the sidekick here. And I saw a couple comments about how we are mounting it solid into the car and we might have some pretty gnarly vibrations. For one, it's nothing we're not used to. We drive a lot of race cars and stuff with solid engine mounts. Considering this is going to be more of a streetable car, we'll just have to kind of feel it out and see if it's uh, anything that needs to be addressed, but we're not really worried about this thing rattling too bad but the engine is mounted up in here. So that is one big step out of the way on the sidekick. Me and Mike got a list together while he was over here. Um, he actually already took off, but we went ahead and ordered everything we need to get this thing up and running. So hopefully next time he's back down here, we're going to go hard on the sidekick here and just get it knocked out and get it running and driving. But the engine's in there and uh, now we're just waiting on some parts. So we got the BR. <laughs> the hood so we got the frs over here because we're going to try to charge the ac properly at a uh, mechanic shop with the proper tools to do it instead of just charging it with the uh, ac canister from the auto parts store we do have to pull a vacuum on the system and do it right we went and got an ac compressor that works as you guys saw that is on there so now we're going to try to get the system charged up and see if everything will start working and blowing cold air because it's been really hot in florida lately and it would be real great if we could get the ac blowing cold on the frs here hooked up here we'll see if this works guys hopefully, hopefully it does it yeah it's freaking hot out here all right they got her all charged up here they want me to fire it up hopefully now that the pressure sensor sees that we got the proper pressure in the system it will work on oh, I think it's working is the compressor working is it working oh yeah oh dude it's getting cold it's working <laughs> it's working yes dude oh it's working we got AC boys oh it's blowing so cold dude I'm so pumped it is working Hell yes. Oh, it's blowing so cold. Yeah, that's working. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's working good. So freaking happy. 
think I'm more excited about the working AC than this car having a K series in it. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> it's working good. No. This is three nine phones, right? So this is for the um, original engine. So that would be like point, approximately point eight phones. Um, so this compressor is what. 1.2 pounds, so it's gonna be a lot colder. A lot colder? A lot colder. Which is perfect for this heat we're having right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey. So he actually looked up the compressor that came out of a TSX, which is what we have right here. Right. And bigger cabin. Yeah, bigger cabin car yeah, bigger compared, to the, compared to the BRZ. So we should get nice and cold oh, in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. She's blowing cold. Thank you guys. So we just got the AC charged on the FRS and a few of the guys working here are definitely fans. So this guy rolling with no hood, hood exit. assault rifles over here damn single cams putting in work oh that is hilarious oh, God. Dude. the EKs dude <laughs> he's like nah not me not me <laughs> I don't want to blow it up <laughs> oh yeah that's sweet guys I had no idea we'd have some freaking Honda guys working over here just down the street that's cool. It was nice meeting you guys. Yes, sir, yeah, man. you too, man. Yeah, y'all have sure. a good day. I'm sure Come we'll see you again. Soon, if I need any more, my AC's charged up. Probably won't happen anytime soon, but... We do alignments, tire rotations, mount balance, everything. So All right, sounds good. Something, bro, just come in. Appreciate it. You. Appreciate yes, it. So we went ahead and got the sidekick pushed out, and right now we got the FRS up on the lift here. We got the AC blowing ice cold early, as you guys saw, and I'm so pumped about the AC. That's probably my favorite part about the car currently. It works so good. I've actually been driving it for the last couple days. It's been a great daily and it runs and drives just really well overall. The one thing that is a little bit annoying about the car right now is the exhaust is just an open header and it's pretty raspy. So we're gonna try to do something about that because right now it sounds like the typical Civic that flies by our house at three in the morning where it's just like Rah! and it's doesn't sound the greatest. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, change that and get the rest of the exhaust on here. This is the exhaust that came with the car. The original plan was to actually just cut it right here and V-band it to this guy, to the header coming off of the K-Series, but right where this bend is, um, when you go all the way up, it does hit on the transmission mount, which is a little bit of a bummer, so we are going to have to change that up. So it looks like we're actually going to get rid of this like high-flow cat deal. This is the piece that came with the K-Power Industries kit. We're actually going to be poking this back on, and then we're going to cut it there, cut it here, add a section of pipe, and V-band it right here and call it a day. And the Y band goes into that guy. So it is kind of nice that we're keeping this piece anyways, but we just went and got a three inch V band with the clamp. So we'll go ahead, pop this exhaust off, cut some pipe, weld some stuff, and then we'll have a full exhaust on the FRS here. And it won't sound like a freaking ricer everywhere we go. Well, now that I got to this point, I just realized I don't even need the V-band to be here. I can literally just put my piece of pipe in right here and just make this all one piece. I guess it would make it a little easier to service since I wouldn't have to take the complete exhaust off to like pull the motor or something. But I mean, when are we not gonna take the full exhaust off if we're working on the car? And that's a perfectly good V-band. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and use it on a different project since it's really not needed here. So I'll just connect this with a piece of straight pipe and the exhaust will be done.
And just like that, we have ourselves an exhaust on the FRS, nice and simple. Got our pipe welded in, welds came out pretty good. Um, there is a hanger that goes off of the transmission to this guy right here that we got to get on, but honestly, this thing's pretty stout as it is. I don't think that hanger is even necessary, but the exhaust is complete all the way out the back here to our twin tips, looking freaking sweet. So now all I got to do is get this thing lowered down and see how she sounds. Feel the AC? Yeah, dude, the thing in here is blowing ice cold. That's yeah, that nice. AC cranks. Yeah. Dude, this is like a solid car. Dude, it I mean, is. This is the most complete car in the fleet right now. I think so. I mean, <laughs> like, besides like the Porsche, but that doesn't yeah. really count. Besides like modified wise. Modified I car feel like wise. I'd rather drive this than the Porsche because yeah. if this breaks, I'm not scared. For real. It's the not Porsche, cost I mean. You 10 grand to put a motor in it. Yeah, it probably gets better <laughs> fuel economy than the Porsche too. For real. This might be the new favorite daily. Got all the dailies right here the Porsche, the BRZ. This is our Jeep, me and my girlfriend use it, if you guys are wondering, and why it's CRV back there. All these vehicles have full exhaust, blow cold AC. Yep. You know? Some run better than others. Yeah, you're, gonna lie. sounds like your CRV's making a couple noises over there, dude. Sounds like a washing machine. The CRV's about on its way out. <laughs> there are a lot of noises going on in there. Yep. It, uh... <laughs> You know, it stalls some mornings when it's cold, but otherwise, she runs great. She's got 200,000 miles on her, so. You know, she might be able to make some noises, but it'll sit on two-step all day. <laughs> sounds great, bro. It's just an idle. She's not real happy. Those high RPMs, she don't skip a beat. Yeah, flashing check engine light. You know, it's cool. It's whatever. She still rips, dude. 